Philip, tell me the story about how Grandpa used to throw you in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> well, we used to get, he would wheel the wheelbarrow down to 159 Highgate from 128. I would get in the wheelbarrow and we would stop by people's houses. And we would stop by people's houses and go in the basement and we would have a little sip of wine and we would have some cheese. And then we would chat for a little bit and then we would move on to the next house. And between here and the music store on Bailey Avenue, we probably stopped five times, maybe six. I could point the houses out to you on Lisbon and Minnesota and one on Highgate. And everybody had beer. Everybody had something to munch on, whether it was cheese, but cheese was the thing I remember the most. Uh, Mrs. Eloisio and the cheese, she had the cheese all the time. And uh, then when we hit Bailey Avenue, we would stop in just about every store and get something. Be it a piece of candy or whatever. And that was, that was a day with Grandpa. And then we would hang at the store for a little bit. And later on, I would go down with him, but I would go home on the milk truck, Elmer's milk truck. He would deliver milk. And when he would let me off the truck, he would give me snow. Ice that we could make snowballs with in July. And we had a lot of fun with that till we got caught throwing it in a car. And that was, uh, that was just a little later, but with Grandpa, we was always in a wheelbarrow and we would go down Bailey Avenue and come back and stop at some of those houses too. Wow. And, and that's the, the story. <laughs> and the name of the music store was? It was Varsity Music on Bailey Avenue. Wow. And we would go down to Panapinto's, had a place down there on Bailey. Uh, go to the shoe store every, you know, all the time. Uh, oh gosh, that was our day. <laughs> and how long did those guys own that store, you know? Uh, between Uncle Joe, Aunt Ann, and, and Dad, I'm not really sure. Dad got out of it in 67. Oh, Uncle Joe was involved in that store? At some point early on, I believe, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, we'd have to confirm that with Dad. I thought Uncle Joe was in it at some point or another. He had his fingers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah's home. Hi. <laughs> the Hyatt won't be the same without her this afternoon. 